are you, Bernie? Very good, how are you? I'm here with Bernie Glazer, uh, VP of uh, Sales for Mercedes-Benz in the U.S. And usually, we will, I would like to do interviews while driving. Now we're standing in a van, we're standing in a van, like, and uh, it's pretty amazing because this is another very important part of the business for Mercedes-Benz, right? Yeah, we actually we are standing right here in a pet grooming van. It's called the Wagon Tail, yeah. and this is a customized a Sprinter van for uh, somebody who runs a, a pet grooming business. And this is just one example of what you can do with our van. Yeah, one of many. We are in this uh, part of the plant that Mercedes-Benz has been here in, in uh, Charleston, South Carolina for 10 years now. Yes, yeah. And we see uh, at least 20 different examples of that, many, many more that you can, you can accommodate in the Sprinter. Uh, but you have several new announcements uh, while we are visiting here, right? Yeah, we are really excited to be here in South Carolina, in Latson close to Johnston at our uh, factory, at our assembly plant. Uh, yesterday we had the big groundbreaking ceremony here. We had the governor here of South Carolina um, and we announced that uh, Mercedes uh, will invest in $500 million in building uh, a ground up factory here in the United States. And yesterday was the groundbreaking ceremony. The shovel is in the ground. Yeah. So, I mean, there were several different reasons for that, but can you maybe take a minute to explain that ridiculous chicken tax law that exists like yeah. from the 60s or 70s? I don't know, yeah. which makes it like almost crazy when so, I think about it. Uh, absolutely. It's, it's basically an import tax on commercial vehicles of 25%. And of course, that makes business importing vehicles or exporting vehicles yeah. from Germany, importing them into the U.S. pretty much impossible. So uh, what that means for us in order to competitively sell Sprinter vans is we have to assemble the Sprinter van in Düsseldorf, Germany. Then we'll have to deassemble the whole <laughs> Sprinter van again. Perfectly it's finished, still in Europe. Perfectly, perfectly finished, finished product. Quality released out of the factory. Yeah. And before it leaves Europe, we have to disassemble the Sprinter van. We put the components in two different boxes. They go on two different ships. We bring it here to the United States, into the port of Charleston. Yeah. And then right here in, in, in Latson, in our factory, we reassemble the exact Sprinter van which was built in Germany back together here again. So that's a pretty complicated I mean, logistic nightmare. And it really doesn't make sense, but I guess you've been making some sense of it because over the past 10 years you've been doing that and actually been and very successful with the Sprinter. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the Sprinter business is growing. So now if you put that together, it's this process we have done now and you know, when we, we, we uh, manage the process as good as we can, but as you can imagine with growing volume and our sales are growing now yeah. five years in a row, um, we had to rethink the future here in the United States and um, we are committed to stay in the United States with a bigger footprint and grow our van business here in the US. So that's why uh, we made the decision to build a plant to produce the Sprinter in the US for the US. So groundbreaking ceremony yesterday, when are we going to see production out of here? So towards the end of the decade. Okay. So the factory, if you look out there, it's just the, the trees are all gone, but you see, you know, the, you see the construction workers out there now. So they built the factory over the next couple of years. So towards the end of the decade, latest we'll have sprinters. So currently the Mercedes-Benz vans here in the States has the Sprinter and the Metrics, right? Absolutely. So we have a full-size van, which is the Sprinter. This is our bread and butter vehicle. Um, and then we added just in October of last year, uh, our brand new mid-size van, we call it the Metris here in the United States. So that's only on sale for a couple months now. So Mercedes-Benz here in the States is more known for the cars, the SUVs, and the sports cars, like luxury and all that. This is a completely different aspect of the business that in Europe, in other parts of the world, has been really, really successful for very, actually from 10 years after you invented the car. That's actually a great point, Javi. I mean, if you go back, the car was invented in 1886, but only 10 years after that, so in 1896, Daimler and Benz already thought about a commercial application yeah. of their invention. So they created the first load-carrying vehicles based on their invention of the car. So in, in, in Europe, um, uh, Mercedes-Benz commercial vehicles is huge, it's big. And actually, a lot of people don't know in the United States, but Daimler is the biggest commercial vehicle manufacturer worldwide. You know, we yeah. sell trucks, heavy-duty trucks, we sell buses, we sell vans. So if you take all of this together, Daimler sold last year over 850,000 wow. commercial vehicles. And those vehicles have a longer life than a regular car, right? So that's a lot of vehicles. Uh, when, yeah. you, when you think about the, all the different applications that, that yeah. they can be put into Absolutely. Use. I mean, if you just look at this this pet grooming van here or one of the other applications yeah. out there with some shelving in there, 
And if you if you are running this business, you're not turning over that van in two years from yeah. now because you put all of this yeah, big investment. Yeah. So that's a big that's that's your business, and you're gonna use that van for five, six, seven, ten years a minimum. So going back to that point where like in Europe and other part of the world, some Mercedes-Benz commercial vehicles are very popular, and like you said, here in the States we think about Mercedes-Benz with luxury and all that. But I think that combination might help you because when a commercial a business owner will go and buy a truck, he will say, okay, I know Mercedes-Benz, so I'm gonna go with the brand because of what I know about it here. We do actually, um, so that plays well actually in the fleet business and in some of our you know, private buyers, the, the owner operator, they like the brand associated with that business, so that's a very good pro. But we also have bigger fleet customers who actually drive Mercedes-Benz with a star in it. And if you think about it, if you're running a big fleet, you are really calculating yeah. with a sharp pencil. So this is where <clears throat> what we call it the total cost of ownership come into play, and that shows the advantage of a sprinter. It's so economical. Yeah. So let's go back a little bit with the sprinter. Uh, the sprinter comes with the diesel engine and the yeah. matches with the gas engine, right? The sprinter is offered with two diesel engines. It comes with a four-cylinder and with a six-cylinder diesel engine, both automatic transmissions. The Metris, the mid-size van, comes with a four-cylinder gasoline engine. And we did that on purpose, because typically when you think about diesel, they are driven longer distances. Yeah. This is where diesel makes perfect sense. But a smaller delivery van, like a Metris, is more urban, suburban uh, range, so smaller stopping goes, yeah. uh, traffic. And the size also helps. And the size, so, so this is where a highly fuel-efficient gas engine makes a lot of sense. Well, so we visited the factory, we saw one of the some of the examples of the outfitters, and now we're gonna actually drive. So yes, yeah. We're gonna, well, I don't know what, which one we're gonna drive, but the last time I came here, I think I drove an ambulance. No, that's a, an ambulance. No, in the back, <laughs> as a driver, so I think. Well, maybe you get this one here. Well, maybe, I don't have my dog here, but <laughs> maybe. Well, All thank right. you very much thank for your you time, Bernie, much. and thank congratulations on this new plan here in South Carolina. Thank you. Thanks.